Hello friends, welcome to Corbin, Kentucky. I'm here at the original location of Harlan Sanders' famous recipe. Kentucky Fried Chicken, right here. <laughs> cool. Just cool display, talking about Harlan Sanders' life, Colonel Harlan Sanders' life. And the Kentucky Fried Chicken. You'll notice these gas pumps back here. It used to be part of the service station that he originally opened his cafe in. This is really cool. I like this. I'm glad you're here. Right. This is really neat. There's some things you can buy here. And Here's the museum. Go check this out. With me doing the best job in possible. If I ever got another job, I was sure I wanted to see it through to her that I was worthy of The curls of send the franchisees and the company operators uh, a letter of congratulations. Back of letters about like this, lots of letters to these these were the people that, oh my goodness, did not pay us. Now, we never wanted to say much to the colonel about to be there. I saw him, and I saw him writing another letter that said, shame on you. There's some very important people before the colonel. So this is the original dining room. The same walls and ceiling. This is it. It's the only remaining table and chairs left from the original dining room in Hutch. This is really interesting. This looks all original, and apparently it is. Harlan set up this mock hotel room to show how nice his hotel rooms were, so his guests would be tempted to stay here. He even showed off how attractive the restrooms were. It was a very nice shower room. You can tell this is original. The walls look old. Before Interstate 75, that's just a couple miles from here, it was Interstate 25 that passed through. And that's where Colonel Sanders got all of his business from that main route from Ohio to Florida. Well, here, I learned something interesting that his cafe was the first Red Cross station on Route 25 because they had a, a telephone. <laughs> Isn't that cool? There it is. He was a marketing genius. He really was. And that's how he was known. This is not it. There's more to the museum. Some cool Kentucky Fried Chicken memorabilia here. And more employee flair. Okay. This is pretty cool. You got all the buckets that they used to use. <laughs> this is a pretty cool display with all the actors that have played. Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Roblo, I didn't know that was him. Oh, funny. <laughs> what do you think? Could I be the next Colonel Sanders? That would be cool, wouldn't it? Seriously, though, I mean, really everywhere. So much stuff. You can wait that long. Did they have donuts? Whoa. 
Uh, some Star Wars stuff. Never got into that too much, but well, there you go. <laughs> How about those Crocs, huh? <laughs> Never seen anything like it. I want a pair of Crocs with any kind of shoes with chicken wing on it. <laughs> Why not? Well, man, nice work. Hope I do as good as you. Looking a little pale, though. I noticed. You feeling all right? Let me get him some water. Uh, looking a lot better there, buddy. Uh, glad you got some water in you. Feeling good. How's that? Uh, chicken's not looking so good there, but well, I guess it's time to go get some fresh chicken. What do you think? It's a little quiet today, but let's go try some chicken. This is not what they were now, but it used to be what they were. They worked here. Very happy employees. Can I get a Nashville hot sandwich? Is that possible? Yeah, I can get a Nashville hot sandwich. Sure. You just want the sandwich or you want combo? Yeah. Oh, how about combo? Waiting for my food. I saw this interesting weather vane. This was on all the restaurants. <laughs> Looks very uncomfortable, but trademark. I didn't just get a Nashville hot sandwich. I also got an original recipe leg. Sitting in the original dining room. It's pretty cool. Try some of this original recipe chicken at the original place. It's kind of like when they say the Guinness tastes better at the brewery. I am sufficiently stuffed. That food was awesome. It was very, very good. I'll probably come back to Kentucky Fried Chicken more often now. Because I don't typically go to fast food, but man, that was really good. And I bet you thought that this video was about to be over. It's not. There's a couple more really cool things to see in here. There's some herbs and spices, but there's a secret 11 that was used to blend this. Can you tell what's in there? Here's the pressure cooker that Colonel Sander originally used. This is the coolest part of the museum. The original kitchen. Colonel Sanders worked in very hard to create his empire. How cool. It has the original dishware, a toaster, a little sink. This is really cool. Some of the information here that I'm reading is very interesting. Harlan used white in everything, including his suit, obviously. But it was to show how clean everything was, and he kept everything clean. Pretty interesting. He was a hard worker. You know, I've seen some interviews with him over the years. And recently, I saw an interview that was outstanding, and I learned a lot about him. Cool guy. This is cool. I'm talking about the three-handed clock up here. Yeah. Harlan had a couple pressure cookers going at the same time, so this is how we would time them before timers existed. You use this clock and just add in an extra hand on here. You used a greased pencil to make a mark, and nine minutes after the first hand passed, the second hand would touch, and he would know when to remove the pot from the heat. Or release the pressure, whatever they do. I've never used a pressure cooker in my life. So. They always seem a little scary to me. Here's a cool layout of the area that we're standing in. We are in this building here. Did you see the kitchen? Just right there. It's right there in the back part of this building. Kind of see where the hotel was and the original gas station. So here, I guess that is the the location of those pumps. Cool. My car is parked right about where that tree is right now. 
Hopefully you can see that side window right there. It's right there. Just looking through some of these things they offer for sale. Sell some postcards. Killer place, man. Strong work. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, and I, I picked up some of your postcards too. So I sent them off to some of my subscribers. And nothing? I think he says you're welcome. Colonel Harlan Sanders Museum and Country. It is really cool. It is not far off of I-75 if you're traveling north or south to or from wherever your destinations take you on that route. Stop here, check it out, eat some chicken. It's worth it. Heck, even if you don't eat some chicken, just come and stop and check it out. It's a cool place, a lot of history. And this is a place that I enjoy exploring because it was somebody's, it was a product of somebody's hard work. And you can see, obviously, you just drive down any interstate and you'll see a sign for KFC. We all have one in a small town near us. All the work of one guy that was a total failure up until his 60s. He wasn't at 66 years old is when he started franchising. He had other businesses and failed. He had lots of jobs, failed, didn't enjoy them. Something wasn't satisfying about it. And until he was an old man, some might say an old man, 66 is an old man. So until he was an older gentleman, he didn't discover what the, what the niche was for him. And then when he did, it, it really blew up. So there are hope, there is hope. <laughs> there is hope for all of us that are you know, living, period. Whether you're young or old, that you'll be productive if you wanna be. Cool, hard work it takes though, hard work. Thanks for joining me today, friends, in Corbin, Kentucky, at the original location of the KFC, Sanders Cafe. I appreciate you joining me. I'll see you in the next video.